all contributed to different elements and I thought that together we were like we were definitely going to win the task. Thank you very much. Dear good God, when Bill turned that poster around of the other team and I saw the state of it, I was like, uh, if we lose this task, I'm walking out. Teach me. Gazpacho. Gazpacho. I think there's something about Team Elevate, so I hope I'm never stuck in Team Fusion. Uh, and here to Elevate to win another task. Yay! Do you feel hard done by? Ah, no, because that's just the name of the game. We answered the brief, but we didn't. Uh, we missed out on the vehicular traffic. I mean, I don't think we can. We should cut into each other. There's no need. Okay. Barry, when I sent you off to Maria Taff, I told you to listen carefully to her. And I'm sure she gave you some simple tips about what to do. Do you remember any of them? I do, Bill. She said, keep it simple. And you come up with that. How did you end up with this in terms of keeping something simple? Obviously, we, we've looked at the back of it now. We were trying to educate. It's, it's the opposite of simple. Yes. But... Could none of you see that? Who came up with all the text? I think we all sort of agreed on the text. So everyone got your top and tape in. That's where you made a mistake, Barney. You said you listened to everyone and took it all on board. Yeah. Jamie, you're probably the most experienced people around. You should have just looked at that and said, no, can't work. Caroline, yes, what do you think you contributed to this task? I was involved in, in that final product. I gave 100% I gave to it, and I can see that it, it is texty now, but as a group, we decided on the text that we put into it. Kira, you're a salesperson. I am, Bill, yeah. How did you feel on this task? I was on the strategy side of things, Bill. Obviously, my two colleagues had tons of experience, so I felt very yeah. comfortable. So, did you find yourself struggling amongst this? I didn't find myself struggling at all. So you I were felt comfortable? I, I was. I felt that I was um, good support for the guys. They knew what they were doing, and um, I have felt that I contributed towards timelines, making sure that the graphics and stuff were sent over, and um, that we had the budget ready and everything to go onto the, the board. Neve, you understand this process an awful lot better, possibly, than the rest of the guys. I don't understand why you weren't on the design team. Well, it was discussed as a group which side I should go on, and I did say that I would love to go on the other side, but at the end of the day, I am from a marketing background, and the entire group agreed that I would be better placed in the strategy. Barry, everyone is taking responsibility for losing this task, but it's over to you now. Who are you going to nominate to bring back into the boardroom? Bill, I, I've thought about this and it's, it's, it's a really difficult decision because everybody did work hard on the ad as well, but I'm going to bring Kira and Caroline back in with me. Kira and Caroline. and Caroline? Yeah. It's your choice? Unfortunately, it's a choice I have to make and I just I want to give the other candidates, they are very, very strong and I, I think it'd be fair, you know, to give them that chance. Well, you'll be bringing back Kira and Caroline. The other three will go back to the residents. But the next time I see you here, one of you will be fired. Off you go. surprising that he brought back Kieran and Caroline. Well, it's fairly predictable, really. He wasn't going to bring back Jamie or Will. Neve has been very, very strong. Yeah, but I think he fancies the chances up against the two girls this time around. Caroline, she's not really involved in the task. They've lost time. faith in her. So I suppose she's an easy target for somebody to bring in the boardroom, really. Kira doesn't seem to thrive in a group scenario. She can't seem to work with groups of people. But she will fight, and she'll give Barry a run for his money in this one. Probably find out how right you are. Hello? Jane, would you ask them to come in, please? Certainly, Bill. You can go in now. Barry, you're the project manager? Yes, Bill. 
and I asked you, who do you think is responsible for losing the task? I think the whole team is responsible. Oh, I've heard that yeah. off you before. You've been in business for yourself. I have, Bill. You've fired people. I have, Bill. You haven't said, well, all of them are responsible. I put, it, put them in their names in a hat and pick out who's to go. You have them here for a reason. Over the old, whoever worked the hardest, I think, I didn't bring in. And that was the only reason I brought in these two. It's just everybody so worked So these didn't hard. work the hardest for you? Everybody worked hard, but the other lads worked harder. Uh, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I don't know how Barry would even know what I did over the two days, considering we were hardly ever on the phone and we didn't see him until we were heading off to the Helix. So that he has the goal to sit there and say that I didn't work as hard as the other two guys is shocking. Bill, to be honest with you, she had... Uh, I don't want to get into slating or anything, but there was literally one point she had to do. She had to work on the PowerPoint, and that was it. And even before we decided on teams, it was like, Kira, what side do you want to be on? I don't know how to do anything in one, and I don't know how to do anything in two. I did not say I didn't know how to do anything in one. I wouldn't lie, but anyway. Two. I, well, well, can I, just I can understand sorry. what you're saying about the PowerPoint, okay. but you don't know the circumstances why the PowerPoint was lost. Left to so late, Barry, and you never asked why either. I had a 10 minute brief with Jamie, and I talked to him on the phone all day long. The PowerPoint was the one thing that you just had your sole responsibility for, and it wasn't done. And why wasn't the PowerPoint done? Because you didn't do it. Why? Because you didn't do it. But you know why? Tell me why. You see, that's what I'm saying. You're saying you're talking to Tell Jamie. Tell us why, then. You share this with us. The reason why the PowerPoint wasn't finished off, um, Bill, was because when we went in on day two, the brief was actually changed. We actually changed our strategy completely in the morning. I couldn't do it with PowerPoint presentation and what demographic and everything we picked because we didn't have one. We had those be the night before. We, we knew exactly who our target mark was. It was only to spend. Were we going to spend it in January or spend it in May? So I'll come back to the original question. Who do you think I should fire? It's a terrible thing to have to answer, but yeah, if it was me, I probably would for a care. Caroline, who do you think I should fire? From the feedback from the other split, I heard that Kira had been allocated the PowerPoint and that it had was a mess. So you think I should fire Kira too? That would probably be my choice. So there's two of them pointing the finger at you, Kira. There is indeed. I'm and who would you for? To be honest, I'd actually go with Barry on this one. He didn't stay in contact or kind of lead over. The teams were very much split in two. To say we weren't in contact is, is a lie, I think. I didn't say that we weren't in contact at all. I said we weren't in contact enough. I just... I, I the had... strategy was actually left uh, with our team. I mean, we did really good on the strategy. But you have to be fair. You do have to be fair. This task didn't suit you. I'm not a marketing person. We're all no, on a learning but curve neither when it comes I. to new things. Neither am I, but Barry, I do want to do the, the best. the weakest, weakest okay. one in the group that didn't contribute enough, I completely do argue with. Of course, I'm not of a marketing person, so I'm not going to be the strongest person in the group because I don't have the experience okay. in it. Barry, I, Caroline said that she didn't really uh, work her socks off and said she had to go in and just do things. I worked my socks off and I did everything that was asked of me plus more. I think at, at times you were on the phone liaison, maybe with them, maybe with the graphic designer, that you didn't realise the input that I did have in relation to the ad. I'd commit where Will wouldn't commit. You may not have been aware of the fact that I came in, I said move this, this here, put it in I that I totally order. did and I totally but think I you did work harder. harder than, if I would say I worked harder than Will. You know, everybody worked hard. Yeah, but, but I mean, you, you said to... we worked less hard. I think everybody worked hard, it's just that they worked... Harder. A little bit, yeah. That's all. So, Kira, why shouldn't I fire you? You shouldn't fire me, Bill, because I take on board of what you've said to me. Unfortunately, I've been sitting in front of you far too much. I did push this week as well. I think being taken into the boardroom, people think that I'm the weak person, and that's completely not the case. Why shouldn't I fire you, Bernie? Bill, there's no one that will work harder for you. I genuinely won't. I but what does that mean? Do you know what I want? A warrior. Results. Not excuses. I've made mistakes I, in my life and I, I've no problem admitting it. And I've gone down avenues that I thought. And yeah, but I've learned every single time and I've never done it again. I just, I'm hungry for it. Caroline, why shouldn't I fire you? Bill, I think every week I am improving. I think that this week I showed that I'm not waiting to be spoon fed, that I'm willing to get stuck in, give the hard graph and take initiative and do what I feel needs to be done. The team seems to have lost faith in you. I was an easy enough scapegoat today because I've been brought in before and my alternative person he possibly could have brought in would have been Will, who maybe he feels is a stronger candidate than me, I don't know. But I'm definitely here to win, Bill, yes. Caroline, you're young. You're inexperienced in this kind of business and I'm still trying to figure out just how good you might be. Barry, you've learned a lot of hard lessons and you have to put that experience to good use. I will. Kira. This is your tour time in here. It is, Bill. If you give me another chance, it'll be my last. Firing people isn't nice. To 
but the bosses have to make those tough decisions and implement them the way they see fit. And on balance, I'm going to do that. And Caroline, you're a very likeable girl. You're going to make good in the legal system because you can talk and you can establish empathy and rapport with people, which is a special talent that a lot of people haven't got. But right now, probably because of your difficulty in making things happen in areas where you're not experienced, I have to say, you're fired. Thank you. Thank you. Barry, I'm disappointed. I know you are, Bill. The one thing you should know is that you listen to everyone and then you make decisions. You don't try to be all things to all men. Okay? Yeah. Kira, don't know what it is. 3 p.m.'s brought you back. One time when you had given the best sales of anybody on the day, and you're brought back. Why is that? I don't know. You better find out. Yes, Bill. Off you go. Thank you, Bill. She's a very, very nice girl, but having said that, she wasn't able to cut the mustard here. Well, they all obviously liked yeah. her a lot, but uh, liking is not good enough. And Barry likes everybody. And um, as you well know, it, doesn't work like it that. isn't like that in business. They all need a good shaking now, and I think they've learned a lot of valuable lessons again from this process. And I hope this time they take on board these lessons because they're not learning fast enough for my liking. Well, let's hope these pair learned a lesson, and the best of luck to Caroline. I'm gutted I'm going home today. I mean, I just feel in the last few tasks I started to kind of get into swing and I contributed so much to this task and it just annoys me because it wasn't recognised by Barry and Will is still coasting along there and Kira is still coasting along and it, it just annoys me. I would have to say on Elevate there are a lot of stragglers. They are due a loss just to get rid of some of the people that are on that team. Tara has to go. Sarah couldn't work with her, wouldn't work with her, will never have to work with her. Get rid of her. Panis is a nice guy, I like him, but I still think he is coasting along on a good thing over there on Elevation. I was fired for, for nice reasons from Bill. You know, well, he said nice words at the end. So, I mean, at least I can leave with my head held high and I was honest throughout the competition. With just 11 remaining, the search for Bill Cullen's apprentice continues. Yeah, that's it. Whoa. Next week on The Apprentice. There's no doubt that this is a fun task. Yeah, we'll get something out of that. That's a good one. We do 10. 15 quid. 12. 15. 12 and change it. I can't move my neck. I need to cut my head off. An 11 month calendar. Christmas vanished. Do not put this on me, Sarah. You are lying, and it's the most unprofessional thing. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs>